Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial of Roster Photo. Today I'm going to show you the new changes in the interface of Luminar 4 compared to Luminar 3. And if you start Luminar 4 for the first time, you will notice that there are some changes. If you go to the library, it all looks kind of the same. So it's not that much different. But if you go to the edit module, there are some differences. And that's what I want to show you. I'll show that in this video. In the upcoming videos, I will show you other new features of Lumina 4, like the new filters that are in the software and you can use. So for this video, only the interface changes. And let's start with um, the filters here on the right side, because that's a major difference compared to Luminar 3. What's not available anymore are the workspaces. In Luminar 3, you're able to create your own workspace with filters, and that's not possible anymore. So all the available filters are categorized now here on the right side. So you have the essential filters, you have the creative filters, filters for portrait, the pro filters, and suppose you move your Lumina 3 catalog to Lumina 4, then it might be possible you see this icon, dep deprecated filters, and that basically means that you you have applied filters in a photo that are not available anymore in Lumina 4. So they will be categorized in this icon. So let's have a closer look at the filters in Lumina 4. So apart from that they are categorized, uh, you can also see some changes uh, right here, like the basic settings are visible in each filter right away. But in most of the filters, you will find this button, the advanced settings, and that will that will make sure you get the more advanced settings. So if you're a beginner in photo editing, probably you won't need this. I advise you to only use the, the basic sliders, but for the more uh, advanced photographers, please click this icon, this button also to check out what's available over there. Another thing that is different, let's show it in this filter, is the place where you can apply the mask. Before in Lumina 3, there was a very small arrow next to the name to add a mask. Now they've changed that into a button. So I think it's a better way, it's better visible. And the way to apply a mask, it's still in the same way. So you can do it with a brush, the radial mask, or a gradient mask, or the luminosity mask. So that works still the same. You only make made it a little bit better visible. So what has changed also, uh, the icon here of the looks changed a little bit. First it was only an icon and was not really clear what it was, but now they changed the icon and it basically says also looks. So I think that's also more clear. The way to apply the looks, it's still the same. So that isn't, that hasn't changed at all. So the way you can apply it is like how it was in Luminar 3. The um, layer panel has moved also. Before the, the layers panel was visible right away underneath the histogram. As you can see, that's not there anymore. It starts right away with the filters of the category you, are, you have selected. The layer panel is over here now in the right top. So it's still possible to add new layers. And I think it's handy to have this uh, possibility because suppose you want to apply one of the filters multiple times, you cannot do that in the same layer anymore. But what you can do is you can create a new uh, adjustment layer and then apply the same filter over again. So the tools has also changed before you had an icon here on the top. Now it's an icon on the right side. So still you have the possibility to crop your photo to rotate it and the other tools are also still the same and the um, lens corrections are also here in the tools so if you cannot find it in the filters that's because you can find it over here so be aware of that 
Um, history, it's still available. It's not on the top anymore, an icon, but the button has moved to the right bottom. You can still see all the edits you made. You can still go back to the original photo. So that's still possible to do. And the last thing I want to mention is this, the more button. And that's basically to disable the histogram if you don't want it uh, to be visible over here or to reset all your just adjustments or to copy your adjustments to another photo. So if you want to copy the adjustments of this photo, you just press copy, you select another photo and then you can paste the same adjustments. So that's in short the, the major changes in the interface. The next video, please click the, the recommended video to learn more about Lumina 3 because then I will give you more information about one of the new filters you can use.